You are as thick as they come, sweetness. Raft. Mind of my goddamn business. Maybe you should try it. Where's Gek? Who are you? I seek the surgeon. I believe she's keen to get these boots back. Well, I'll be. You got them? The sergeant's been whining nonstop. What about Gek? Where's he at? He stayed behind to tie up some loose ends. More like avoiding the sergeant, I reckon. Come on, let's get you to shore. You're the one telling the sergeant what happened. The rest of you, keep patrolling. I'll be heading back with this one. You continue forward in silence until the lights of a camp twinkle through the murk. Pretty cool. Oh, don't let me kill every fucking dwarf down here, please. I'm trying. I swear I'm really trying. Well, I'll be plowed sideways. We've got a welcoming party. You shithead. Time you showed up. We got trouble. Spit it out. Sergeant finally choked on true soul near's prick. Drugno. The twat soul caused a rock fall. Trapped tighter than a ring on a fat finger. <coughs> You're shitting me. You pay up? That's the trouble. He's got the gold on him. Sergeant's arm is falling off with all the gnome slaves she's been beating. Who's the hoon, Grayman? Another slave for the dig. No, no, no. Let's not do the true soul shit. I'm here to see the surgeon. I got the bitch's boots. Aye. He speaks true. Found the hoon sailing Gek's skiff. That's so. I... Watch what y'all call me, goddammit. The scientist of stirrings in your head. The Dwergar is not infected, yet your minds resonate. Oh, I'll be. You're one of them cult freaks. Felt the tingle. Your twat soul chum owes us a load of coin. You want through? Make a donation. A hundred gold? I'll take your head before you take my gold. Unclog your hole. Just shitting around. You fucking better be. You. What is this for, dude? Wait, there's fast travel? Ooh, y'all look lame. Faster! Heat up some rocks! Let's see how the little pricks do when we strap fire to their legs. Hm. Not the most sophisticated way of getting what you want from someone, is it? You're the one Greymon mentioned. What, for free? Heard you killed a thieving gnome. Oh, shoes that Where's bitch? Where's my boots? Oh. <laughs> Never thought I'd see these back. Nasty sneak gave even Gek the slip. <sighs> Crafty little shits, these ones. You need a stiff cane to keep them in line. Oh, hell nah. Here then. His bounty's yours. Now move. I've got no time for the parasite stirs, but it's a mere tickle. You hear no thoughts or memories, just an echo of scars that never healed. A true soul, eh? Useless wreck of a lookout could have told me. Glad you're here to take responsibility. Tunnels collapsed, trapped true soul near. He's stuck in there with poisoned geezers. 
we don't get them out soon, it's both our heads. As you near the rubble, a fragmented voice clutches at your mind. A true soul. True soul. Finally, you must clear rubble, filling poison. Gnome slaves, passage trap. Careful of mercs. Get me out! View through Nier's eyes is a blur. You only make out a bit of rubble and few moving figures. You sense Nier's frustration, tinged with rage, as the connection fades. Lungbug, hush! We're being watched. We're working as we can, sir. Very hard indeed. Ooh. <laughs> this is good. I like how this is playing out. I'm a friend. Thulla sent me. Glittering gods. She actually survived. Praise Iron Hand. Lerida, our prayers are answered. Shut the fuck up. Sir, our friends are trapped in the cave-in. And I know a way to get them out. Bug, please. True soul near will... You know what he'll do. Leave the true soul to me. Now tell me what you know. Young Bug, don't. I've... I've got no choice, Lerida. We have to chance it. A few days back, there was a... a scene. Our friend Philomene, she's a sapper, set off a blast and ran off. We set a spot for hiding if someone found trouble. I'll mark your map. If Philomene made it, you'll find her there. She'll have the stuff to blow that tunnel wide open and get Beldron and the rest out. Philomene, what are you doing up here, bitch? I swear to Iron Hand, one more step and a blow us to chunks. An ashen scent fills the air. The barrel is filled with smoke powder. Careful. I'd rather not have to pick bits of gnome from my hair. Shoot your mouth, Hoon, or I'll shut you down. Philomene, I presume. What's going on here? Dropping my name like your culty stars knows me. Like we're friends. I know what you are. One of Nia's cult goons. Sailed right in. Better to die in this shit heap than rot in moonrise. You want me? Come get me. Rita sent me cuz. It's the truth though. Why do I have to persuade her? It's literally the truth. Yeah, a stupid gnome bitch. Dumbass bitch ass gnome. Stupid gnome. Lorida. Ruddy mind games. I know all about your tricks, true soul. Shit. I can't do it. Hmm. Go on. Drag me to Moonrise. I'll make you cult nutters suffer. Calm down. Beldron's trapped in a cave in and I need the smoke powder. You want to waste rune powder on. Look, you have no idea what you're dealing with. Any true Iron Hand would trade their life for a grain of this stuff. It's the whole damn reason we're here, and I'm not leaving without it. But let me go. Maybe I'll spare you a vial. Holy shit, that's high. I ain't getting this. Vague oh, notions it. of rumor and myth. Nothing solid comes to mind. Deal. Listen, you see Lerida at the dig? Tell her I'm dead, impaled, half eaten. I don't care. Make up a story. Not sure I blame her, though Lerida might. You'd abandon your beloved? That's mighty cruel of you. Beloved? I might have been hers. She sure as hell wasn't mine. Lorita for the streets? You ought to do the same. Lorita for the streets, bro. Finally. The fuck? Worth 
worthless slaves. Your incompetence has been my ruin. Nay, does not fail. Stop. You care for the weak true soul. Asterian. Curious. Of course I care. I can't let these gnomes suffer. Some of them are pretty hot. The absolute demands their slaughter. Yet here you stand in bold defiance. A test. Yes, you must be. The absolute bade you to try Nir's faith. Thrym, carve out his heart and serve it to the Rothe. If he indeed is a true soul, let the absolute save him. Try it, I'll cut you all down. I see your idiocy is surpassed only by your ego. Dwega, this true soul has betrayed us let his blood prove your devotion oh my god i'm not ready for this i didn't even get to okay one more time Wait, where's Shadowheart? Oh my god, she's in the lava. Fuck this. How do I save the gnomes? How do I save the fucking gnomes? Somebody getting bit, goddammit. Who won it? God, these motherfuckers just roll like gods. We're gonna figure this out. Somehow I'm gonna beat all these little bastards. Oh, fucking one of them. Can you fucking do it? Can you do it, Will? It'd be really cool if you did. <gasps> Will, as soon as I get another party member, you're fucking out of here, buddy. You are fucked. You're the most useless fucking piece of shit I, I've ever fucking seen in my goddamn life. God, you fucking suck, Will. No goddamn armor class having motherfucker. Oh, fucking Will. Will, you big fucking piece of... Oh my God, Will. Will! Will, please. Fucking Will, dude. Will. Will, what the fuck are you... Will! 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 We might have a fucking chance this time. Damn it! Hope your soul is in good hands. Dropped. Fucking dropped, dude. Look, the music got kind of heroic. Got kind of heroic, though. Don't you? You fucking dickhead. Ooh, fuck off, boy. Get out of here. Holy fucking go, oh my Jesus Christ. I'm fucking, I am gobsmacked right now. Hmm, boots of speed, yeah. I think I'll take those. That was f five. I've been doing this shit for five hours, dude. It took me five hours to get out of that. Now I can steal. Hmm, steal. I like to steal. Hmm, I love stealing. Okay, when Neri comes out though, I'm gonna, f oh, ho, 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 it's his ass. Free that bastard so we can fucking murder him. Gods have not forgotten you killing one of their own. I don't give a shit or a fuck. <laughs> it's just him by himself, like a loser. <laughs> You're all by yourself now, punk, punk ass bitch. Will. Do the most useful thing you've ever did no and waste. actually hit this guy. You seriously, bro. Come on. Will. Thank you. Parasite. Collect it. It might be useful. 
Give me your shit, bitch. Broken moon lantern, whatever that is. Simple. Object catches your eye. A lantern, it seems. Though no light flickers within. Broken trash. It's just full of dust. Shut up. I'm bad at both of these. <laughs> Investigate. Coalition's back on track. You see no burner or wick. It was not fuel that lit this lamp, but magic. The Coalition's back off track. This is pixie dust, used to illuminate a lamp, or left behind after a pixie's death. All right, what do you little bastards think? We'll all be free yet. The iron hands always find a way. I literally did everything. Thank you for saving Beldron, I mean. I just wish, well, it's too late now. Thank you. Did, did you find Philomene? Is she on her way back? Ooh, I ain't gonna lie to her, bro. I found Philomene and she wants you to move on. to send you to break me just get away from me chill bitch chill out damn it philomene after all that's happened sorry please do what you want just don't hurt my sister bro i'm not gonna hurt you didn't you see all the shit i just did why's the whole map red <laughs> hey whoa future jack here uh let me just get this out of the way i spent the next hour stumbling around trying to figure out what to do next so eventually i turned to google and guess what the damn quest is glitched it seems that because canonically i killed near without ever triggering the cutscene that the deep gnomes don't load in the dialogue options necessary for me to complete the quest the whole map is for some reason still considered contested area even though i killed every single dwarf down here i can't ride the elevator and Thella doesn't say anything new even though i saved the gym forge gnomes already technically i can't complete the quest i can't save the gnomes so you know fuck them back to the video it is done thank the dark lady sybil ripped the amulet from my throat and cast it into the lava having found me racked by laughter the madness has lifted but i do not yet know my penance sybil is not known to take pity on thieves. Help the spirit of the amulet. Hey, y'all stupid as hell. I don't sound like no shit I wanted to deal with. What's going on back here? Stairs? Don't mind if I do, Sir Skeleton. Oh, he's got a bone on him. Okay, Shadow Heart, it's all you, baby. Move the thing. Not that way. Yeah, we jumping, we jumping. This looks kind of promising. What? No. <laughs> uh oh, they can't do anything. They're all stupid as hell. You can't come up here, you little losers. It's gonna be a long fight. <laughs> Bitch. Whoa, whoa, whoa. My dude is back. Just like old times. No fucking idiot. Oh my god, Asterian. Holy shit, Asterian. Why didn't you do that the other? 
fucking times, you useless piece of a sentient amulet. Thou hast come. Shut the fuck up. The amulet is heavy, but holds a subtle warmth, like it was left under the sun. Suddenly, the metal surges with heat. You feel great power and an overwhelming urge to laugh. Can thou endure? Fight the urge. Come on, Asterion, please. Oh, you stupid fucker! Are <laughs> you stupid fucker? You're gonna laugh us right into a lava elemental. There's no escaping the laughter. <laughs> Telepathic mushrooms. Walking brains. It's all so comical. <laughs> How unfortunate that thou must do. <laughs> oh, my God, it's Weird Al Yankovic. Return me. Return you where? To whom? To my granddaughter, Shira Clarwen. Serves Ilmata, she does. She waits in Worms Crossing. Take me there, and thou shalt bathe in her golden gifts. Oh, thou shalt be blessed indeed. <laughs> I will take you to your granddaughter at Worms Crossing. I shall walk with thee. I shall grant you my power. <laughs> it shall be. Grim Forge, not born here, but tragedy. <laughs> I found this idol of Shah here. Perhaps you might want it. You, you thought of me. Thank you. It's beautiful. I'll find a place of honor for it in camp. Nobody's ever given me anything before. What do I owe you in return? Some of that sweet elven booty. It's a gift. I'm not expecting anything in return. Thank you. Lady Shah teaches us to forswear material goods. But I think she'll make an exception for her own image. I wonder. Perhaps this is connected to the Dark Justicias. This is no coincidence, I'm sure of it. I need to keep an eye out for more signs. Learn more about the Justicia's presence in these lands. It could be important. As long as I've prayed to Lady Shah, I've wished to serve her as a dark Justicia. There is scarcely a greater way to fully dedicate yourself to Lady Shah, save perhaps if you become the head of her church. Very well. Let's see if we find anything in the future. Thank you. I should have known you'd be understanding. Ooh! I can't help but feel you and I might have missed a chance to connect. Truly connect. Physically. I think I know what you mean. There's an undeniable rapport, and yet we haven't made time for each other. Time alone. Easily remedied, if you like. I know a place. I'd like that. Just lead the way. Not just yet. Let's choose our moment. Some quiet night, when the others are asleep and there's no distractions. I'll come for you. Oh, we're gonna get freaky nasty. Hello, you. Sleep. Rest, little one. But do not take long. I feel his shadow. Fuck. I heard his name whispered. The rock shivers from the sound. The Ketheric Thorn. The name means little to you, yet your heart pulses to its rhythm. Thorn. Thorn. You fear this Ketheric Thorn? Who is he? Mm. Mighty elf, cloaked in darkness. Ten masters ago, and ten more, but I remember. 
remember. There was the work and the blood. There was the Thorm's army. There was the Hell Beast that broke them. The Ketheric Thorm's name faded into stone until the near came. Impressive memory. How old are you exactly? I outlived my mother, and her mother's mother, and many mothers beyond. Blessed to see many live, cursed to see many die. Wow. What kind of hell beasts could have destroyed Caethric's army? I saw tusks and flesh, smelled fire and eggs it came with the mask men crashing and smashing that was a long time ago what does neil have to do with ketherick i know not so i say not yet i hear his name again said by the shadow It seems to be the perfect Ooh. night to spend a little time together. Just you and I. Assuming you haven't changed your mind, of course. With that rocking body? Yeah, we can hang out a little bit. Damn, yeah, girl, you what you drinking? Come here. Sit with me. Wouldn't dream of missing it. Didn't think I would show. Drain the cup in one swallow. That would be badass. Drain. Th it's sick. Woo! Someone's enthusiastic. Maybe I should have brought a barrel. I was hoping for a toast. Any suggestions? Oh boy. A toast to us. Bold. What does us entail? I suppose I'll find out. To us. <laughs> now tell me something about yourself. Me? Oh, no tadpoles, dragons, marauding goblins, or anything like that. Something about you. I was born at a little place called Wickerberry. I was shunned for my two foot long penis. When I was born, the doctor slapped me right on I my- I can sympathize. Trudy. Don't stop now. Not just as things are getting interesting. Your turn. I insist. A little give and take is only fair. Persuade this bitch. Oh boy! We're getting late tonight, boys. Don't laugh, but- I'm not quite sure I have anything to share. When you worship Shard, secrecy is everything. We'll sacrifice our own memories when ordered to. A lot of the little things, they're lost to me right now. Baby, that's okay. Long as you remember me. Wrong. You like night orchids and can't swim. You told me once. <laughs> I did. And you remembered. You're sweet. There's still plenty of wine. Until the night is ahead of us. Keep that wine coming, baby. Nearly light. The others will be awake soon. You should get that checked out. I'm gonna look into your eyes. What? You're beautiful. <laughs> oh, we're getting in there, boy. I know. Ooh, but we. You're sweet to notice. Damn, Thank girl. You for last night. I hope there'll be more to come. Me too. She trails off. You read an invitation in her eyes. Damn it! If only I wasn't. Whoa, what's that big green hand, my boy? 
What the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck is this? Oh, dude, this shit looks illegal. Well, yeah, back up. Back up, dude. Holy. What are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, sensuous. Oh boy. Watch the tusks. That didn't hurt, did it? The pain was worth it. I should think so. Let's head back. If we must. All's well, I hope. I wanted to talk to you about that night we spent together. Come on, it's too soon, dude. I was going to say the very same thing. As soon as I worked up my courage a little. I can't recall the last time I shared so much with someone. Maybe I never did before. It meant a lot to me. You mean a lot to me. And that was before the kiss. That night meant a lot to me. I hope there's more to come. But I might change my mind when we meet Lizelle. I hope so too. Though I'm not sure what kind of courtship we'll be afforded, given all that we're facing. But if you want to see where this goes, I do as well. Hopefully it goes right into some gif yussi. The Durgar are slain and the rot has been purged. The music shifts. Still melancholic, but now streaked with hope. Do you hear a new harmony? Serenity. I name you Peace Bringer. Peace Bringer Trash Tog. Fragrant spores waft through the air. Your heart swells with bliss with your every breath. Freely you have given to us. Freely you may take. The Guardian Gate is open. Go and claim your reward. What you got back there? But before this, I have another boon to ask of you. You have cut out the Dwergar Blight, but not its source. In your mind's eye, Spore shows you a drow striding among Myconid dead. Near, this one is called. He hunted us. Hunt him in turn. Bring me his head, and I will know my circle is safe. The drow lurks in the ruins beyond the. I, I, I know where he is. Bring circle now his flesh may feed its growth in dealing death you have brought this circle life and thus we name you life chanter life chanter trash dog as our circle grows so shall your song wherever you go only listen and you may hear it I'm coming along, just not fast enough. Any word on my people? I've killed the Dorgar that were hunting you. I'm almost sorry to hear it. I hope to have the pleasure myself. There's plenty more guard in my people, but I'd say you've made a fine start. No, they're fucking dead. I found the mushroom picker. Another illusion. Is anything real down here? Where 
the fuck am I? Hope she doesn't mind. I don't want a crumb left on that plate, girl. Auntie Ethel, please. One more bite, and this pie is gonna come back up to say hello. Don't make me get the wooden spoon. You're eating for two, so get to it. Eat the fucking pie! Ah, if it isn't my favorite flower, welcome to Auntie Ethel's. Come in, come in. Feel free to relax yourself and have a cuppa. Gods, grant me patience. Eat up, Mayrina. I won't say it again. I was hoping you'd pay me a visit. You see, I do more than lotions and potions. People in dire need travel from all over Faerun to see little old me. And I do my damnedest to help them. And you, Petal, well, you need a lot of help. That wriggler swimming in your brain juice is a bit of an inconvenience, isn't it? How do you know that? Because you stink. And I know the stench of mind flare anywhere. I can tell you're almost done cooking. You know, you could turn just like that. What do you say? Want me to take care of the little bugger? I don't fucking know you. Depends on the price. Well, that depends on the job. A removing a parasite is no small feat. But I like you, Petal. So I'll only ask for something small. One of your pretty little peepers. Bitch. Oh dear. You don't have one to spare. Terribly sorry, Petal. But no deal for you. Should you know someone with two eyes in their head and a regular problem, send them my way. Auntie will sort them out. An illusion with a passage hidden behind it. Mind if I go in here? What is happening? You blink and the wilderness changes. A swamp, stinking and insidious, assaults your senses. What is going on? Oh, she's a filthy fucking hag! Enjoy playing with your new friends! Bye bye! What the hell? You are as thick as they come, sweetness. This is my personal playhouse, and you don't have an invite. Get out! Now you gonna talk to me, motherfucker. Tell me where Mayrina is. Wriggler eating your brain already. Leave. Oh, you'll end up in tonight's stew. You'll go nicely with Mayrina. She's already marinating. Ah. And this ain't what I'm here for anyway. Ah, stranger. Forgive the aroma. You can't as boy of something foul, metallic. And sickly sweet. Powdered iron vine. An old hunter's trick. Most monsters will think twice before making a meal of me. You're a monster hunter. I'm surprised. I thought all girl were vagrant cutthroats. Pardon, but who or what is a girl? A mystical and dangerous people. We travel the land, never settling in one place. We steal Gypsy man. chickens, curse your crops, seduce your daughters. Your friend here has heard it all, I'm sure. Now, I wish I had half the power settled folk think my people possess. Alas, I am a simple wanderer. A simple wanderer and monster hunter. But I'm no witch doctor or cutthroat. I assume you want to kill the hag. Or to make a deal with her. <laughs> Probably think you can outfox the old dear. Right. But very wrong. My prey is a vampire spawn, much less impressive than the beast that lives here. <clears throat> His name is Astarian, but I fear he's gone to ground. I hope the hag of these lands can help me flush him out. 
if I can afford her blood price. And where will, and when you find this Astarian, you'll kill him? Not this time. My orders are to capture him. Oh. Uh, and bring him where exactly? Baldur's Gate. My people wait for me there. Only a spawn? Pity. Not like it's a real vampire. I don't know. I'm sure a vampire spawn could still rip out your throat if he felt like it. He is right, unfortunately. They are only weak when compared to their masters. During the day, we have the advantage. But at night, when they hunt, you'll not find a more deadly quarry. Yes, I'm sure they can creep right up on you. We've all survived so far. Let's focus on that. It would still be wise to post guards at night. The threat is real. Indeed it is. We should do something about this threat. All right, kill him if you must. Excellent. The vampire? It can't be. Sorry, oh. Gendril. I'm a little surprised you chose to shield the stone. Let's hope it doesn't come back to bite me later. What's up? The fuck is up? Ooh. Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! I greet you, child of the sun. How has your search for the mushrooms fared? I got him, fucker. These are fine specimens. It will only take me a moment to brew them to proper potency. Omelion turns away to prepare the potion lost in its own musings you must drink the entire draft i can make no promises as to its taste the acidic liquid tightens your throat burning on the way down it's a bolt of agony straight to your stomach not a drop left very good as the potion influences your mind you may find yourself acting Irrationally. Try and stay focused. The world loses its edges, its finer boundaries. You are fluid, but trapped like a creature suspended in amber. Dark holes bite at the edges of your vision, but the void cannot draw you in. The temple spasms, seizes. It's fighting the potion even harder than you are. Fear pierces your mind like knives of ice. The parasite digs deeper, as if it needs to hollow out your skull. The cold blades lose their edge. You are stalwart, turning that tide of fear against itself. The parasite swells with power. More power than you have ever felt before. It surges and twists, lashing out against that which would dare to intrude. The parasite in your mind quiets, pleased with itself. Omeluan, are you well? That lava is like nothing I have ever observed before. Its power is unsettling. Such an outcome was not in my calculations. There is more to this being than mere stasis. What's next? Cutting off my own head? Such crude destruction may not waylay a lava like this. But there is another possibility. I possess a ring of mind shielding. It prevents elder brains from noticing my presence. It will not remove the lava. But it will limit its influence, both positive and negative. I would offer it as a gift, but in truth, the ring is priceless. 
Is there anything you could offer me in turn? Why didn't you mention the ring before this potion debacle? Because removal seemed preferable to negation. And I must admit, I was curious to study the tadpole myself. I have gold, will that suit? My research is in perpetual need of funding. Yes, I am willing to accept your coin. How much, mother f fucker? Oh, 175? That ain't shit. That thing better work. Shit. If it doesn't, I doubt you'll be in any position to complain. Of course, the lava remains. Be ever vigilant of its growth. Grab your bags. We're moving. A scout just reported. The goblin's leadership has been decimated. We might escape this place yet. You just I might, Zevlor. From all of us. It isn't much, but you've earned it. <laughs> Thank you. It's not enough, but it's all we have. Hal Sin will likely want to thank you too, mind. He returned just a while ago. I believe he's catching up with Korga. As for us... No armies at our heels. Amazing. We can finally leave. But perhaps we need not speak of farewells. We'll join your camp tonight to celebrate if you'll have us. See you there, my boy. Oh, we partying? You took it upon yourself to undertake the rite of thorns? To spill blood in this sacred place? He's covered in blood. It would have been easier if you just died, Korga. Now I have to hear your excuses instead. I owe you nothing. Goblins swarmed us like roaches while you stumbled after the past. You chose to abandon us. I chose to protect us. Silence! The rite has been ended. I was going to show leniency. But Korga, a child is dead because of you. A thief is dead. She stole the idol, befouled the grove. Enough! What did I miss? If anyone befouled this place, it is you. By sowing division, hatred, death. As for the idol, it's nothing compared to a life. A mere object next to one of nature's creations. You show no pity, no remorse. I cannot absolve you. Nature will determine your fate. Whatever happens to you next, know that it is the Oak Father's will. Now get out of my sight. There is nothing more to be said. Move around, Keyleth. Apologies for that ugliness. A more bitter homecoming than I would have wished, but... At least the grove stands. Thanks to you. Neither of us saw what happened before. Maybe the child's death wasn't her fault. Please, don't sully the gratitude I feel towards you by making excuses for Korga. My choice was clear. Chill, big bro. The grove stands. Nature prevails. And again, I am in your debt. What about my problem? I need help. Tomorrow morning, we shall discuss what is to come. Who invited Patience? this fucker? Have you no respect? For showmanship. Having performance issues, Roland. Hush you. And behold. Fuck this guy. Is that it? Ah, if you know, he can also make them blue. Damn, blue? Never have I met such troglodytes. Now, pass the wine. This might be the wine talking, but I'm feeling inspired thinking of writing my next song about you come on let me hear that motherfucker an angle. any ideas have you seen this fucking body have you seen this ferrari i'm driving this lambo let me hear a song about it one raunchy ballad coming up play it fuck let me hear it your song was coming along then things began spinning. Worry not, I shall return to it at first light. Great, thanks. 
Is that a story? A story. You know, I never pictured myself as a hero. Never thought I'd be the one they'd toast for saving so many lives. And now that I'm here... I hate it. This is awful. You did a good thing. Suck it up and enjoy yourself. Enjoy myself? There's a worm in my brain. Hunters on my trail and all I've got to drink is wine that tastes like vinegar. Relax. All your problems will still be there in the morning. That means I have to survive tonight. And this party. All I want is a little fun. Is that so much to ask? By the What's your idea of a little fun? Sex, my dear. A night of passion. <laughs> Let's wait until things quieten down. Once the others are asleep. No. We'll find each other. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. No. Listen to your second thoughts. They always spoil the fun. Stop. But fine. If you're determined to ruin your evening, I won't stop you. No, sir. No. No. No, sir. Sorry, it ain't. Mm -mm. I don't. Trash talk don't swing that way. Everyone seems to be in high spirits. Strange. You know who I never thought I'd find myself caring for? Re refugees? Exactly right. Never gave them much thought. Certainly not that bunch in the grove. Yet we came through for them. We saved their lives. Odd. Not so odd. We did the right thing. That's more easily said by some than others. But nobody's here to debate right from wrong. We should have had wine more often. More warming than the fire. Withers, are you partying? Fate spins along as it should. Dude, Astarian tried to get my fuck. He tried to, uh, slur yeah, my worm. Was, I was hoping you wouldn't notice I was gone. What exactly do you think you're doing skulking out here? Get your ass back to the party! <laughs> oh, the blade doesn't sulk. I was just reflecting on what has happened and not wanting to be Mr. Serious at a celebration. But these people are still in danger. Karlak, the creature from hell, will still threaten them. As will a thousand other perils. They aren't ready to get on the road on their own. You're right, but we need to give them hope. You're good at it. You've given me some just by being here. But, off with you. This is your day. Have a dance. Enjoy the music. I want to dance with you. Bro! Oh, brother! Can't you tell why I really followed you out here? I wish you were there, but I'll respect your need for peace. Sometime alone beneath the stars, and I'll be back to my old self. Promise. Still, it's a night to remember. You've made sure of that. I don't want to bang these guys. Sorry. They're trying to push their agenda on me. Especially a starry. He's probably going to tickle my balls tonight. Go on now. Don't waste a night like this talking to me. We'll discuss your problem tomorrow. There's other things we can do besides talking. Why is the game trying to make me bang these guys, dude? Because <laughs> I'm not going to be a bottom. I'm going to be a top. Take your own advice. Why don't you go on? Mingle Later, a little. Perhaps. Don't worry about me. <sighs> a night under the stars amidst nature's creation is just what I need after being locked up in the goblin's dungeon. Go on. Enjoy yourself. Seek out some wine before it runs dry. There are a lot of thirsty people around here. You ain't lying. They drip to the feet, night ticks on fleet fog. The buzz of celebration quiets to a soothing hum as you approach your bunk. You've picked up a few pleasant memories on your journey amongst your struggles. Hell yeah. Wait, try to push twisting thoughts of Shadowheart from your mind and seek sleep? Or go to bed alone? What the fuck are you talking about? Her mind is certainly an enigma. Would you wish it any other way? 
I trust you enjoyed your evening. After all your efforts, it was well deserved. It may be some time before you're afforded another such night. There is much to be done, and I promised I would help you however I could. I'm certain a cure for you can be found at Moonrise Towers, but it's complicated. The journey specifically, it's extremely perilous. Though it seems you're Ugh. accustomed to navigating danger. I mean, I suppose it was yeah. too much to hope we were going ooh, to be cured ooh, here. Wowza, right wowza. To Moonrise, then. Why well, they put the plant in my face? To get to the towers, you'll need to pass through a terrible place. A cur this curse shrouds everything in shadow. You will not find life, light, or anything natural. Any who linger are twisted by the curse. They become shadow beings, tormented, dangerous souls. Sounds like I've got no choice. I need to find a way through. Your heart Bro, is, what? You have you could go overland, along the risen road or through the mountains. Easier at first, but you'll run into the shadow curse eventually. You could also go under. There is a tunnel somewhere in the ruined temple of Saluna. It leads to long ago. A man called Ketherick Thorn built a secret stronghold deep down there, before rallying a whole army of Dark Justicias, Shah worshippers. Dark Justicias? I must see for myself. Yeah. Aridan and his lot were looking for a way down there. They were promised riches if they retrieved a relic called the Night Song. But I think there's more. From this stronghold, Ketherick's forces could access both the Temple of Saluna and Moonrise Towers. But he was defeated before he could launch an attack. If you can find this place, I'll wager it will reveal a more direct path to Moonrise Towers. And maybe even bypass the worst of the Shadow Curse. I've already found the place you're talking about. It's called Grimfall. You've already been? Impressive. You'll make me redundant at this rate. What did you find? I found an elevator, but it leads right into the Shadow Curse, I guess. That sounds like what you need. But the next part of the journey mightn't be straightforward. Or safe. It may prove impossible to avoid the Shadow Curse entirely. But if you find any way to limit your exposure, seize it. I would like to join your camp, if you'll allow me. I can offer my skills, my counsel. I've long sought to return to Moonrise Towers. It seems our fates have aligned. Let's go then. May Sylvanus guide us. Let's not forget the Devil Karlak. The coast is in danger for as long as Fuck. she's loosed on it. Up. We need to find her. Nobody asked about Karlak. Shut your ass up, Will. Will, you, you know you're out of here, right? 